ママもういいよ迷惑かけた小田さん桐生すまねえ兄弟俺はまるでお前の力になってやれなかったいやそれはこっちのセリフだ結局お前のことまで巻き込んじまった悪い<笑>おいお前これからどうする気ださっきの青野ってやつにうちの社長を渡せって言われたんだろうさっきおめえが下で暴れてる間阿波野の兄貴がそう言ってたんだこれから堂島組が組を挙げて立花の社長を探すことになるってなああ俺からもお前を説得しろって言われたよ立花を渡すことがお前が死なずに済む唯一の道だとよう社長は今お前の濡れ衣を晴らすために町中の情報を集めてんだその社長の首を堂島組に差し出すのかあんた黙ってろなんだと断りゃ立花の代わりに気流がまとにされる組織ぐるみで終われりゃいくらなんでも生き残れねえだったらうちの社長が殺されることは構わねえのかてめえらがキリを巻き込んだんだろうがよせ相手は怪我人だ錦それにいずれ堂島組を敵に回すのは俺も承知の上だった思っていりそのタイミングが早かっただけだおめえ堂島組相手に正面切って喧嘩売るつもりかバカ言ってんじゃねえまさかおやさんだってここまでひどくなるとは思ってなかったはずだそれは確かにそうかもしれないもともと立花社長は堂島組と正面から勝ち合う前に例の殻の一つをかっさらうつもりでいた堂島組にとってあの土地は10億じゃ効かねえ価値があるんだそれをうまく使えばうちもカムロ町の一角を担う組織になれる堂島組でさえやすやすとは潰せない組織にこうまで早く堂島組の幹部に目つけられちまうとはな阿波野の兄貴を甘く見すぎだあの人クセなんかと比べ物にならねえよ切れ者だとにかく社長と話してみるママ電話貸してくれ全員が助かる道だってあるはずだうちが空の一つもの所有者を抑えりゃ堂島組と取引できる余地もあるだといいがよ社長小田です今桐生とセルナって店にいますええそれで堂島組の青野が社長を渡せと桐生に持ちかけてきましたはいうちが空の一つを追っていることにも気づいてますだから社長は今すぐ身を隠してください俺はもう桐生は信用できないと思います社長を堂島組に売るかもしれないなおいちょっと待ていいんだ錦でもよ<笑>これでもう俺にも社長がどこにいるかはわからないくそ悪く思うなよ騒がせたなママ怖い思いをさせてすまなかったうちの心配なんてそれよりこれからどうするの
おい待てキリュウおめえどうする気なんだよ今さらジタバタしても始まんねえもともと組をのけた時は一人でやるつもりだったまずはクゼを捕まえて俺の濡れ衣を晴らす振り出しに戻ったなバカ野郎この状況でそんなことできるわけねえだろうそれでも俺はやるしかねえんだアテスポイントのゲーム、アイハブモプリマチオルフィギャンブリンキングステリトリーズカプチュード。ウィチーズフォーフィッツカムロチョウ。So we could go to the empty lot, but uh, I noticed a, a sub story starting up right by Tenkaichi Alley that I wanted to go check out. So I say we go check it out. Yeah. I don't know what that pause was. Might have had to go like answer the door or something. Just really just, like, wanted to know what that sound was from. There's a child just kind of here in front of this dark alley. Yeah,、uh, and a woman saw us and immediately began smoking. <laughs> I think we may be a problem.、Mm. Or she has anxiety. A super cool vending machine, you say? Hmm. Dude, you could buy an entire landscape portrait. That would be pretty sick to, you know, go to a vending machine and just get some,、uh, some awesome wall art. Yeah. I hear, yeah, you know what? There's a goon that I know could use it. <laughs> no offense to him. It was a joke. Hell, though, that, that'd be a pretty cool idea. Yeah, you know, right? Just... You just have, like, your,、um, your digital library as, like, You know, load it on a hard drive or whatever. And then just cycle through whatever you want to print, hit the button, blam out.、Mm. Can't wait for somebody to steal that idea in 20, 20 years, make millions.、Mm. <laughs> okay, so. You know what? I feel bad for this kid. Let's go buy him whatever he wants from the vending machine. Yeah, this kid shouldn't be left out alone. Hopefully, we can get, o- get over his desire for this weird <laughs> vending machine. <laughs> so, so, this vending machine is、uh, going to be in this back alley. Oi. Watch who you call him. Big guy, big guy. <laughs> It's not these two here at the front of the alley. We're going deep.、Uh. I'm gonna rephrase that, right? Nope. Nani?、Eh. It's, uh. Books and video. Oi. Books and video for, uh. Just... Dad, late at night.、Uh. Yeah, it's called sports tapes, dude. <laughs> you get the replay of the game, highlights, sports almanac. It's, this is just the women's edition. The <laughs> women's soccer was big at the, at the time of our recording. There's the World Series going on. Go USA! <laughs> so, uh. Kiri is having second thoughts about this now that he realizes what's going on. Or does he? No, no, he doesn't need to know. <laughs> That is correct. He does know about it.
Yeah, dude. A lot of things come in shrink wraps, like Twinkies. <laughs> Doesn't make them special. Does your uh, mini four wheel drive come in shrink wrap? I mean, the parts for it did. Yeah, there you go. Pocket circuit comes in shrink wrap. Oh, now he's playing the guilt card. Yep. Wow, talk. I didn't know you were in this game, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see who can put two and two together and figure out which episode we just recorded. <laughs> the sad thing is, this is working on Kiryu. Kiryu should just understand that that's a natural part of life. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go buy this magazine for the kid. But I'm keeping it. <laughs> I never said I would give it to you. I'd normally make a joke, uh, like, man, I wish I knew somebody that was cool back when I was a kid. And all that. It's like, <laughs> no, you know what? <laughs> I don't really feel like midnight, dark alley, Yakuza dude, <laughs> buying <laughs> porno mags. Like, yeah, you know what? <laughs> I'm glad I missed out on that part. <laughs> but it could have been a super cool Christmas present. <laughs> all I can say is... We didn't have vending machines. You just go to the gas station <laughs> and you check the magazine rack. <laughs> it would always, always at the back. <laughs> Usually it'd be like, you know, auto racing stuff in front of it. Maybe like women's sports. Like you, people wouldn't check. <laughs> like, oh, okay. I'm just going to tap my nose here. I know what you guys are doing. So, uh, yeah, people are, uh, people are coming out of the woodwork and, um, they're being judged super hard. Especially because we have a kid with us. Yeah, really, really crushing our vibe here. <laughs> I might have to buy a second suit so people don't recognize me. <laughs> wait, what happened to my other suit? Oh, wait. Marina's here, too. Nani? You know, gotta admit, I'm really glad that this entire scheme and like setup is meant to shame publicly any member of society that happens to like deviate from the quote unquote proper course because everybody seems to know that that's porno mag alley <laughs> <laughs> you if you were just lonely and you went to the gas station people just thought you were gonna get a chimichanga or something <laughs> but uh yeah this goes double if you decide you want to do this for a small child. <laughs> I mean, you'd really make their day, and I'm sure it would make a, a great Christmas present for in their eyes. Yeah, in my timeline, you come out with a slushie and some candy in a plastic bag that conveniently is also holding the magazine. <laughs> in this timeline, it's... You know, let's wait until everybody goes to sleep before I buy you a porno mag from a vending machine. So, uh... It's... <laughs> are you ready for a stealth mission? I like how it says Kiryu will become flustered and retreat. Yeah, so we gotta sneak over to the magazine. Or the vending machine. <laughs> Man, war in the 1980s was weird. <laughs> also, if you just... Dan's still trying to, like, trying to get a, gauge your situation. Marina's just going to come by and uh, spot you. So this, this, the stealth mission is actually a little annoying to do, but it's also not very long because, you know, you just got to go around the corner. 
I'm a little disappointed you don't have Metal Gear Solid music going on. I I can put that in as like a side video. <laughs> oh yeah, you just kind of gotta go for it. But uh, also be careful because there are two ladies over here. They just kind of patrol. Yeah, I'll say she just like kind of warped a little bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's try that one more time. And I wonder if Kiryu could have looked at him and gone, Hey, anybody got a light? <laughs> this smoke? Lady, you've seen him staring in the back alley. There's sexism right there. Yeah, that was kind of rude. <laughs> Come on, lady. No kink shaming. Trying to, trying to sneak past these two ladies is actually a little more annoying than I'd like. Just going to just gonna put it out there, Chaos. A little disappointed. Surprised you don't go through this alley right here. There we go. You, you can't. <sighs> You didn't go far enough to activate the contextual button. I don't know why that worked. <laughs> or I, why, I saw you, know, you I saw you with your <clears throat> quote unquote manips right there. I actually there was no editing going on there. No, those were <laughs> that, manips. That's straight up. Camera, that's straight up. If I've learned anything from G SGDQ chaos, they're called <laughs> manips. Okay, fine. You the, caught me. The camera was manipped a number of ways, and it killed the line of sight radius and the player interaction bodies on the third plane on the Y axis. Making, please don't make that hand motion in, in this alley anymore. As <laughs> you were telling me to stop my hand waving, and <laughs> I, was, I was a little insulted. But yeah, I they don't know why. <laughs> they couldn't afford <laughs> chariots of fire here, so uh, enjoy this royalty-free version. <laughs> I don't know why Kiryu is okay with like buying the magazine, even with the people right there, so long as they're not looking. Like, I'm sure they can hear the machine going. No, God. Don't you understand Actually, you know what? anything, Chaos? You know what, you're right. This is a universe where no one can hear drones like six feet above them. <laughs> That's the other universe. Yeah, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to be that, you know, footnote 40 years from now when you rediscover your first porno mag. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that guy in the white suit. He was so nice. And all of our efforts to be stealthy were for naught because Marina saw it all. It does, Marina. It really does. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea.